Hello everybody and welcome to this next tutorial video where we're going to be going looking for the shovel. Now a couple of prerequisites to this particular mission. You are going to need the rebreather and you are going to need the rope gun. So if you haven't got those two items yet, be sure to check out the previous videos to find out where they are to go ahead and obtain them. The shovel is essential for finding such items as the shotgun or various different secrets, maintenance hatches, for example, uh, as well as key cards. So the shovel is a key item for the game. So I'm going to show you where to go and how to find it. So let's jump in. Okay, so for the shovel, you are going to want to look for a cave closest to the mountain. So this is another cave that starts next to one of the spawning points. So again, it's one that you could find pretty easily, but as I mentioned, you are going to need the rebreather and you are going to need the rope gun. So go get those items first. So we highlighted it here on the map, you want to be looking for this cave. So it's a little further north of the lakes with the four rivers that head towards each other. Okay, so here we are at the cave. You'll spot it by the three dead bodies that are propped up facing it. Um, so you can find a few items around the entrance as well. So if I just bring up the map, we'll zoom out just to show you where it is. So here is the cave. So from the beach, head up towards the mountains. You can follow that river all the way to the mountain. You will come across this particular cave. And as you can see, other than being in the mountain, it is one of the closest caves to the mountain itself. Now, as you can see there, we have our little base and the helicopter crash, which is next to where the rope gun cave is. And then there across is where the rebreather cave is as well. So, what we're going to do is we'll pop this away, we'll get our torch out ready and raring, and we'll dive straight into this cave. One additional item you can find at this cave is the slingshot, which is in fact attached to this gentleman here. So go ahead and take that. And of course, don't forget all the items out the front. It is another cave which is boarded up. So go ahead and knock all of that down. And then we're ready to go. This is quite a linear cave, um, but it is still fairly easy to get a little bit lost in here. But good news is there isn't any forks in the road. So you should find your way fairly easily. First thing you're going to come to is a jig drop off. You don't want to be going down there, but you can if you want that extra canister. But we're not going to today. We are going to hit the E and we're going to zip line all the way across into this big room. And you know what big rooms mean? That's right, mutants. So you're probably going to have to fight a few, including a few babies. So let's get them murdered and move on. Pick up some rope. Then you'll see there's a big patch of water. We are now gonna go and submerge ourselves in water and head straight down. You'll see there's this sort of passage or tunnel that goes underneath. Now it does sort of double back on yourself. So you wanna turn around and head back the way that you came. This time we're underwater though. Then you wanna keep going. And as I said, it's quite linear. So it is just a straight swim all the way to the top and the surface which can be found here here we are there are a couple more mutants to kill here now you, a good fun trick for this is you can jump on to these ledges and lure them into the water where they will drown so you don't want to fight them you can make them drown so it is a bit meticulous you do have to sort of lure them in but it saves a bit of stamina and the risk you can also find a wetsuit here with some flippers. Very useful for after you've just swum under, but that will come in handy if you're ever exploring the ocean or future caves that do have water in them. Then keep walking through. You'll hit this fun water slide. I'm getting very Tomb Raider vibes when you go down this bit. And you land in another patch of water. This is just an empty room, so we'll head on over here where we can see the boxes. Be sure to loot up as well. There's plenty of loot to be found in these caves, so you don't want to miss anything. There we go. Then it's through the pas passageway. 
Again, there's going to be plenty of mutants to be fighting here. We're on Peaceful just so we can show you the location and how to get to it, but you will be having to fight a few. Find some more dead bodies and a bit more loot. All of the alcohol. These guys obviously went out swinging. We want to stick to the right of this and you'll find another passageway. The other walls are a dead end, but if you stick to the right, you'll find the passageway nice and easy. Keep going through. Again, another big room. And as you know, what do big rooms mean? Lots of monsters to fight and murder. Come across these three gentlemen here. Now, he is holding a torch, which he can pick up because it is the flashlight attachment. Now, you can attach that, obviously, to the pistol or the shotgun if you have them, which is a nice little bonus to be found in here. And some more explosives, some ammo, and some more loot to be found, as well as an extra bit of ammo. You then want to run straight past these dead bodies down to here. You'll find another one with a couple more boxes, a bit more ammo. Again, so it's a good cave for ammunition, but you will have likely used up quite a bit as you're fighting your way through. So we go down this passage now, into a little bit of water, and up a hill. Once again, we'll hit another patch of water, and this time we'll jump in and down. And it's just a straight down and up little bit of underwater. Swimming there. So nothing too strenuous, nice straight line. And again, we're back to another passage. Again, you're going to encounter a few mutants. You can, of course, lure them back to this bit to hopefully make them drown. So you don't have to fight them. On the left, there's nothing really to go to. So we're going to head right. And yet again, we're in another big room. You know what big rooms mean. There's some loot to be found. You'll also see this big facility... And then you'll get a little bit of music, as you can hear. Very ominous. Once the music's finished, back up a little bit. And this body here will have the shovel that you've all been looking for. Pick that up, and you now have the shovel. Okay, so the exit strategy. It's back the way we came. So it's just a straight walk all the way back from whence we came. Stick to the left through that passageway. Back underwater. Here we are. And then pick up the money and then it's keep walking all the way back through hopefully you've taken care of all of the mutants so it should be nice and easy we'll get this loot so stick to the left makes it a bit easier to find Go. So you follow in the cave round, brings you back to this entrance. Now what's going to happen is, when we get back to the initial bit of water that we swam under, we're following the light, you're going to see an explosion of rocks. There they are. Because this man is now blocking our way out. But don't worry. He kindly left us some cases of explosives and grenades. So don't forget to pick those up. Back yourself away. If you have a timed bomb left over from getting the rope gun, you can use that. Or alternatively, you can use a grenade that you've just picked up. We're going to chuck that next to him. And boom. He has now disappeared.
Hopefully you do get the nice explosion and all of his chunky bits getting flying around. Unfortunately, I did not. They did not render in. Then it's a case of walking straight through the passage. Following all the way. Some more dead bodies. You will come to a ledge shortly. When you get to that ledge, we'll be just jumping off. So here is the ledge. So we're just going to jump off down to the next level and just continue on our journey. Then it's slightly up. And here we have our cave exit. He slides out. And we are now out of that cave. And we have the shovel. So that's it. So that's how to find the shovel. And the next video will be looking at where to play, where to use the shovel. So we'll be looking for some of the dig locations, including the shotgun. Um, but don't forget, hit a like and subscribe for the channel, please. It does make a huge difference, especially when you're just starting out and it is a brand new channel. Um, it would be nice to make a career of it. So, you know, the more likes, the more love we get, the more I'll be able to do it full time, which means more content. So if you do like watching me be pretty much petrified when we do our actual series, then again, the like and subscribe is a massive help. It only takes two seconds to click those buttons. That's it from me. Thanks again, and we'll see you in the next one.